Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page one of Sir Vagabond Avi Aviator. Oops, do I have the right? There we go. And um, yeah, so I'm building this out of order. I mentioned that in my first video, which was actually for page five, and I followed that with page four. Now I'm going to back up to the front and, and try to build the rest in order, but I did want to get those two done early on because I had a vision for those pages and which prints I wanted to use. Okay, so enough said about that. So we're going to start with a pocket and it is four and a quarter by nine. Four and a quarter by nine. You're going to score a half inch on three sides and we are going to put that on the bottom of page one like so. And let me find my weeding tool. I hope everybody's doing well. Okay, it's gonna go right here on the bottom. Flush on the sides. And then on top, we have a flap. And this flap is, What is it? It's four and seven eighths. Four and seven eighths. I gotta write that down. By eight. Four and seven eighths by eight. And it's kind of a wonky number, and I'll show you why. This was the image um, that I cut apart uh, to use for this page. And I wanted to have clearance from the wing before I split it. So that's wh why it's not just nice, even numbers because um, I was working around the design on the paper itself. Now this is going to go on the bottom. This is what's going to go right here. So let's go ahead and add our flap. Again, four and seven eighths by eight. And it's going to go across the top. Had a little dental work done today and my tongue is on over time. Checking it out, it's wearing me out. Uh, okay, we're just gonna install this flush. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and add our designer paper. It's gonna go like this and then we'll work on the inside. We're gonna hold off on adding the pocket because we're gonna put a magnet on it. So let's go ahead and add this first. And then we can locate our magnet. Now, um, because I'm using an eight by eight, there's no overlap between the flap and the pocket. Normally I have it reach over at least an inch so you can add um, a magnet to the pocket. And that's important because if you add the magnet to the backside and you put a bunch of inserts in, it's not gonna hold. So because I'm not an inch over the pocket, the other solution would be to add something that's going to reach down so that we can place the magnet, which is what I chose to do. And I'm going to use a piece of chipboard to accomplish that. That looks pretty good. So this is the chipboard piece that I selected. The world is yours to explore. I'm going to have it hang over just a bit so that I can get a magnet here on this pocket. And you can see I'm all ready to go. So all I have to do is glue this. So I'm gonna add my pocket paper just to get perspective on where I wanna place this. I do want it off to one side or the other because I don't wanna cover up the plane. And I think this is the most plain area. So let's go ahead and add it here. Oops, that's upside down. Okay, so I um, added my magnet and then I traced this chipboard so that I would have a little piece of paper on it. The world is yours to explore. And I probably, it's upside down. Should have done that. I'm just going to flip it over and use the other side because uh, when you open it, you want this to be right side up and this side of the pattern you can't tell. Just a small detail. OK, 
Okay. So we'll get this on. I'm going to kind of hold it in place because it does take a little bit longer for the glue to dry on the back of the, the uh, chipboard pieces because it's very slick. So we'll just hold that in place for a second. And it looks like I need to trim it a little too. Yeah, it's hanging over just a little bit. So I'm going to use my X-Acto to do that. And then I'll just come back through with the ink and cover that up again. The first time I just traced it and cut it freehand. This is the other thing you could do is just glue it and then trim it while it's actually on the chipboard. Okay, now I'm gonna come back through with ink. And cover all that up. Okay. Looks good. Okay. Just doing that so I know where it's going to land. That looks good. Okay. So there's a very faint red line across the median and I am going to put glue on that half and put it, attach it to the flap. Sorry about that. And I'm gonna put this back one more time, just to make sure I'm not covering up anything important. Okay, and now we're ready to put a double-sided adhesive on here and stick the magnet to the other side. Now we're ready to cover our pocket. Okay, this is going to be the pocket liner. This is the top of it or the bottom, and then this is the top. So it's just one continuous piece. It's gonna get tucked slightly into the pocket, okay. And this will go right on top. Looks beautiful. Got a little heavy handed there on the corner, so I'll just wipe that toward the middle. So now we've got our magnet over here so we can put as much stuff in the pocket as we want. 
and I'm going to hold off on doing my inserts because I'm so early in the project I don't know what papers I'm going to have left. So I'll come back and share with you what I decide to do there. Um, it'll be part of this video. I'm just not going to record it at this moment. So, okay, you guys, that's it for page one.